Good morning, campers. <laughs> Good to see you this morning. It's a nice sunny day today. Paul and I have had a nice week off together. It was really special to be waited on. Oh, it was so nice to go out for a meal and have a meal cooked and not have to wash up afterwards. <laughs> so no, we've had we've had a good week off. Um, and so I'm raring to go, ready for us returning to our buildings for worship alongside um, continuing with some of our online worship as well. So it's a brave new world that we're dealing with at the moment. Um, it's all a little bit challenging, but um, let's hope that together we can really make it work. So my main notice this week is that next Sunday is our first visit back to Balbra Church. It just so happens that it's it's our patronal festival for St James. Um, so we thought that would be an appropriate day to have for our first service back. So it's going to be United Benefice Service. That means there won't be a service in Clown. There'll just be a service in Balbra on the 26th of July at 10 a.m. Now we've marked out the church for social distancing. So um, basically you can sit here obviously in your family groups. Uh, we've got a nice big church. People tend not to sit too close to each other in church anyway uh, with our pews. So we've easily been able to um, measure everything out. Um, so it will be a communion service, um, but people will be receiving the bread only and I will receive the wine on behalf of everybody there. And people will queue to receive the bread in a socially distanced manner. OK, there won't be any singing, unfortunately, but it will still be a big celebration. Um, I'm really looking forward to. Oh, no, not that one. This one. Really looking forward to bringing in the Paschal candle, our Easter candle. Oops, try and get it in the camera. Um, we will carry this into church at the beginning and do a little bit of the Easter celebration that we would have had uh, to dedicate this Paschal candle uh, for the year. So I'm really looking forward to that part. I think that will be really special. So um, we shall do that at the beginning and then it will be um, a communion service celebrating St James, our patron. Um, it might not be as long as a usual service because of course we won't be having hymns and things like that and we need to sort of minimise the amount of time that we're all sitting together in an enclosed space because of the Covid restrictions. I'm going to recommend that people wear a face covering if they feel comfortable to do so. Um, they're starting to recommend it, of course, from next weekend in all shops. And I think it's quite a good Christian thing uh, to think of others before yourself and to choose to wear a face covering um, so that we all look after each other. Um, so I'm not gonna enforce it, uh, but I would recommend that you bring some form of face covering, even if it's just a scarf over your face. Um, just, just so that we can all look after each other and feel safe together as we worship together. So it'll be a little bit different from what we're used to, um, but I can't wait to see you all. Um, and I'm looking forward to us gathering together again uh, for a communion service where we're all physically in the same building at the same time. So do come and join us um, if you feel safe to do so. Um, at 10 o'clock next Sunday. We've done all the risk assessments required, so everything's in place. Uh, there'll be hand sanitizer at the door as you come in. Um, and the service hopefully will feel feel like an, uh, as much as a normal service as we can make it. Um, so do come along. But what we will be doing, because I know very many of you are, are still feeling a bit cautious about coming out just yet, uh, we will live stream the service on Facebook and what I will do is I will then after the service put together a video that includes elements from the service and maybe a hymn or two into a video that you can watch on YouTube. So those that don't use Facebook you might want to wait until the afternoon and then you can watch the service with some extra elements in it as well. So I'm trying to make it so that everybody can take part uh, whether you're physically present in the building or not so I'm hoping that will work for people so that's my main notice really looking forward to seeing you next week uh, children will be welcome as well um, so do please come and join us um, as we return to worship in the building next Sunday at 10 a.m the following Sunday the 2nd of August 
will be our first service back at Clown and there will just be a service at Clown and that will be at 10 o'clock as well. And more information will come out about that obviously next week. So that's my main notice this week really. But just to remind you, we haven't had it for the last couple of weeks because it wasn't very well a week ago and then I was away. Um, but we will be returning to our Tuesday evening Eucharist on Facebook, which is a really nice, intimate, quiet service. Uh, it's just 20 minutes to half an hour long, depending on how long my sermon is. Um, and that's that's a really wonderful way to gather for worship. So do join us on Tuesday um, at seven o'clock on Facebook. And again, that service then gets put onto YouTube afterwards. Um, and there will be phone church on Thursday mornings as well. We will be keeping going with the dial a sermon system as well, where you can ring the phone number and listen to this week's sermon. Um, same notice as ever. Uh, please, if you haven't yet, um, give to church. If you haven't given during the lockdown, please consider writing as a cheque or making a bank transfer or even setting up a direct debit to help us keep our churches going. Um, you may have done that already, but perhaps you haven't thought about whether you might like to give a donation in lieu of the festivals we would have been having. So we would have been having the Flower Festival this week for Bulbara. We would have had our Festival of Clown um, in June. And of course, they're big fundraisers each year. So we would be really grateful if you would consider making a donation in lieu of, of that festival, especially if you've appreciated the things that we've been doing during the lockdown. Um, you can show your appreciation with your money. That would be fantastic. And finally, we will meet as usual at 11 o'clock on Zoom. Um, today, uh, because I've been away this week, our preacher is Bishop Libby Lane, who's uh, the Bishop of Derby. So we've got a really special guest for our service today. So I hope you enjoy the sermon that she's brought for us today. And you can head over to YouTube now to watch the service. And I shall see you on Zoom at 11 o'clock. Take care, everybody, and I really look forward to seeing you at Bulbara next Sunday. Bye.